The first step in making our print today is we're going to do the intaglio inking. And what I'm going to do is I've put my ink down on the plate. Then I'm going to take the scraper and I'm going to come in and push it. And I'm going to come from all the different directions because I want to make sure it goes down into the lines. Okay, so I just got a big lump on my fingers. Okay, so then I'm going to take a tarlatan. Normally you would have three tarletans. One that's pretty full of the color of the ink that you're using. One that's kind of medium and one that's fairly clean. I don't do red that often though, so I just have one red tarleton. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come at it with an area that's got a lot of ink and I'm going to push, push, push. And I'm going to pick it up with this piece of paper and I'm going to keep wiping. Okay, so I've, I've pretty much pushed ink down into every line that I need it. Now I'm going to move to a little bit cleaner area of my Tarleton. And you make it in a really hard ball because you don't want it flopping around. You want it to just hit the upper areas. Okay, so you can see this area is starting to clean up a little bit. It doesn't have as much red in it. Do my edges. I think I'm really looking for. So I have ink down in the lines and in some of these areas that are textured, and I've cleaned off these sections. Okay, so then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to do the upper levels of the plates with the orange. Again, this area is down below. I put these two bridges on the side. Probably going to get a little touch down of the orange in a couple of areas, but you know, that's what happens. So I'm going to take this roller, and this is a hard roller, and I'm just going to set it down here, and I'm going to let it go across. Okay, and you can see it touched down some in the air, and it, but it's covered the upper areas, okay? Then we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna do the blue roll. So, what's gonna happen here is, this is a softer roller, and I'm gonna push down really hard. So I'm gonna push down. All right, so. And people think, oh, you've totally covered up the red ink. It's not there. But remember, when this gets printed, it's going to get flipped onto the paper. So the ink that's underneath on this is what's going to be on top on the print. Let's go over to the press if I can get this without destroying it. OK. We're coming over here to the press. Got to switch to clean gloves. And my paper has been dampened. Um, if you took a dry piece of paper and ran it through the press, it, it would really just hit the upper areas. Because it's been dampened, it's going to be able to be forced down into those lines to pick up the ink. So I'm going to look at my paper. I'm going to do three, three. I'm going to put this in here. I don't have to. And I'm putting the felts down. There's three felts on here. This is the sizing catcher. The paper, when it's made, has a lot of sizing in it. And for some reason, you don't want to catch it in here. <laughs> I don't really know why. This is a forming cushion, which pushes the, it, the, the paper down into the, the plate. And this is just a, the top one. This is the pusher felt because it's, it's a lot more tough. It, there's a lot of friction and abrasion that goes on in here. Okay, so now I'm going to crank. Oops. 
Right. I felt that right when I hit the play. Now we just keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. I think I printed it a little high, but that's okay. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh, wow. So, a viscosity print is born. <laughs>